Hello guys, welcome to another few money. Uh, so this is the day after, after all that craziness of yesterday, that big flash crash. Uh, we were discussing that uh, possibility, although remote, but still a possibility in previous videos. I, of course, was expecting some kind of a flash crash, leaving a big week behind, but never expected to go below the levels around 38 to 36,000. So the the way that we went down was uh, unexpected for me because we went to 30. So this is at least a six to seven thousand dollars thousand dollars difference. But anyway. The signs are there that we probably are not going to see a big dump uh, again, at least in the short term. The market is slowly, slowly, very slowly getting back to previous levels of before the crash. So let's see what the charts are telling us in screen share. OK, so here it is, the price time model. Um, Let's just start here. You guys see there is not a big change. So there's not really anything else to say after yesterday's live stream. Uh, however, there is one thing I want to point out. We continue to hold the same level on the RSI, RSI as the uh, big crash of 2013, which was around 75% from this top here to this bottom here. Um, sorry, I 75% from that to that bottom of there, which immediately went back up. But in, in any case, this was a 75% drop. And that drop left this big uh, V shape recovery on the RSI. So I took this level, projected it to the current time frame. And as you guys can see, we are just just a bit below that level. But the RSI continues to be around here, even after those uh, two big candles that went down in the previous two weeks. So the current week and the, and the, the week before this one. So regarding the price to time model, there is nothing else to say. We continue to wait and see how this recovery will play out. So let's go to the MRI strategy. And here I would like to point out that the second trend line that I have here hold its, um, its line and the candle that crossed the, the, the trend line to the downside, of course, with this big recovery just immediately after that, a few hours after that, went back up above the trend line. So, so far, so far, this trend line has been holding uh, and I will not invalidate it like this one here that we had previously. So regarding the volume, of course, because of all the sell off of the uh, last 24 hours or even two days, we have been seeing an increase in volume, although this is not so good because it's red. So it's actually a uh, volume regarding a lot of um, uh, selling of the coins um, and the RSI of course continues to point down although this on the weekly is still just a bit below the uh, medium line here on the RSI. The MACD of course very bearish the bars increased uh, very much as compared to the three uh, previous ones of the other weeks before and if we account for the BitMEX funding rate on the weekly because of yesterday, this is very, very extended to the negative side, which in fact is a good thing. But although today it's not even uh, that much, but of course the weekly accounts for all the uh, different uh, measures of the funding rate all over the days of the week. So this is still the medium. and. Yesterday, I guess, the BitMEX funding rate being so negative helped us also to sustain the price around the 30 and going back up again. So regarding the weekly, uh, I have, I have, uh, there's nothing else uh, to say. We have to wait. We've, we are still finding support around this area, the previous uh, swing high before the all time high. So as you guys can see, the support that is now holding the price is the previous all-time high of uh, 4th of January, 
this year, 2021, and this has been holding the price since yesterday around the 39 to 40k. So let's see how this support holds. I hope it holds and allows us to start a reversal, probably starting by the end of this week, beginning of the next week. Um, Although today we have been on the daily already positive, but I will just show you guys that in the next chart of the daily. So let's go to the daily. <clears throat> and you guys can see here, and this is something I wanted to show you. Um, so this is the big drop here. I have the percentages of the big drop that started, of course, since the all-time high of the 14th of April. And if you count from that day to the absolute bottom of yesterday, the end of this week here, which was around 29, uh, 29 something, 29, let me check, around 29,683. So if you count all this drop that we had from the all-time high to yesterday's flash crash, we went down around 54%, 54.33. And if you count from the absolute bottom of yesterday's week to the level that we are or this one was this morning just a bit above what we are right now but i can just of course moving it a bit down here we have recovered already 32.8 percent and this is at the uh, exact price level that we are right now from yesterday's, uh, you know, the week, the absolute bottom for that week that the candle left behind. So this is already 32.8% recovery to the prices at the current moment as I am recording this video. So also there is another thing I want to tell you guys. The, of course, the candle, uh, the daily candle represents already a 7.15% recovery just from the beginning of the candle so far until now. So it's not so bad as it seems. Of course, a lot of people, if you had leveraged, of course, a lot of people was liquidated and we know that. Uh, the market was over leveraged already. So in fact, a flash crash like this helps the market in the long, in the long run. Um, it's healthy to reset the market, to remove all the leverage that was um, being really greedy already above greedy levels and of course this flash crash was like cleaning all that stuff and removing all the leverage from the market so in the long run this will turn out to be a good thing uh, another thing i want to point out is how accurate the second trend line i had plotted here you guys can see it on the weekly this second trend line here was drawn based on the first <clears throat> impulse up before the explosion uh, the the exponential explosion of the bull cycle to the upside so we had a first level of going up here uh, it was not so steep as the second one but this first uh, trend line i plotted was based on these first uh, few weeks uh, six seven weeks basically seven weeks uh, started that started around October 2020 and ended around the middle of November last year. So this was the first impulse to the upside that we started to see some um, signs that a bull cycle could be starting. And I decided to plot this trend line here. This trend line, if you guys check it on the daily, it's, uh, it's I find it to be very incredible that after all this time and this was plotted in as you guys saw in october this hold the price it's it's holding the price exactly are, uh, where the previous candle of yesterday closed and the new one of today opened uh, so it's really it's really um, satisfying for me to understand that technical analysis actually works and you can count on it at least to find out some probabilities of what's going to happen so we know at least that this second trend line is helping to sustain the price level and the price action and it's a good sign that we could start a reversal on the price action from here of course there's always the probability that this trend line 
gets broken again to the downside and probably if that happens and if we have some candle closes below it we could only find a new support around the 20,000 after the you know all-time high of 2017 was broken to the upside and of course that was a big support line also so I, I hope it doesn't happen but you guys should never forget that we always have a probability of that happening so this was the outlook for the day uh, daily chart of course the rsi was in uh, it's now coming back up leaving oversold territory and the macd is already showing some signs of uh, loss of strength by the bears because this bar here is already turning light red so and it's even um, shorter than the previous one so the market is or the MACD in this case is telling us that the bearish momentum is losing some strength which is good also to help at least to have some hope that this bottom here could be the reversal of the price action so let's take a look at the four hour chart quickly so we are having some in the last uh, two hours around two hours almost one and a half two hours we have been having this a bit of a drop uh, after the trend line hold the price here we had uh, a first start of the the bullish action then again we dropped and then we had this one to four candle um, I would not call it correction because I don't like the way it sounds but anyway this is a one to four candle correction to the upside and now we are having again a bit of a drop but i believe that we could still hold this trend line here and continue the momentum to the upside although i also believe that this will take some time uh, because flash crashes like, like the ones that we had yesterday take a long time to heal and to recover from so i hope this even taking some time will at least hold that trend line over there and start a new momentum to the upside so the four hour chart is also the rsi was going up already close to the mean here but now it's turning back down a bit because of that drop the macd however we have already three green bars and the blue line crossed above the orange line although this is still very low here behind uh, below the bars and still not pointing so much to the upside but going a bit more sideways the bitmex funding rate is 0 0.01 so it's very neutral it's not uh, good for the bullish or the bearish case um, so i guess people are just trying to understand what's going to happen a lot of people on the sidelines also just waiting for some developments on the price action and that's it for now the four hours doesn't tell me much so let me just confirm the bitmax funding rate on the one hour although the one hour found support here on the 20 period uh, sma and is now turning back up again a bit but being squeezed also by the 50 period sma so the macd also uh, was turning bullish here on the one hour but now it's again uh, going sideways so let's wait for some more time and see what happens bitmax funding rate on the one hour is 0 0.005 so it's not even 0 0.01 it's uh, below that the premium is negative also so i guess a lot of people are just waiting and not using leverage at least for this moment so the mri is done let's just take a look here with the uh, pro indicators framework of course we have a breakdown of this ranging channel to the downside as you guys know this flash crash went really below the ranging channel we went back above just recovered a lot of that loss uh, just uh, a few hours later after that flash crash however we were rejected by the bottom of the ranging channel and we went a bit back down so the hope is that we can at least get back into the ranging channel um, reactivate the bullish momentum and start to go up at least to form a new uh, third range boundary or even break this level of the previous one which will be harder but anything is possible i've seen so many uh, things happen the flash crash of yesterday was also a very low probability and it happened so 
Um, I've seen a lot of low probability things happening in this market, so I'm already used to it. But the probability is very low, of course, of breaking this previous uh, third range boundary level, but at least we could go up uh, if this momentum holds and the trend line and we also can get back up again inside the ranging channel, it's possible that we go up for a new third range boundary level and see and evaluate what happens after that. So that's the pro uh, indicators strategy, nothing much to say. The dollar continues to hold. Uh, it's been very, very hard to break the support level here on the dollar at 89, uh, 89.850. So, of course, we are below the 90 already, but until we get below the 89.0, I will be still waiting. Uh, and, and actually, I find it funny that this support for the dollar is so strong here. I was expecting this to be broken already. Uh, however, the dollar is holding its line around 89.85. So let's see what happens. But I guess in the long run, we will see a breakdown of this support level and the dollar will go below, also helping the bullish case for Bitcoin. So here we just take a look at gold. It doesn't look any different from yesterday. We are still on an MRI warning. Next week, this will be an MRI top. Uh, we gained just a little bit of um, momentum here on this candle because we were below that red MRI level there yesterday. Now we are just a bit above today, so just a small recovery, uh, but it's the outlook looks almost the same on the weekly, so there's nothing else to say. Let's take a look at the SPX. The SPX has been recovering from uh, the big, uh, the big, not so big, but uh, this drop that we had. Let me just check the daily to confirm. Yeah, so this was uh, a few days ago on the 12th of May, and we had this uh, recovery, but then the 20, the, the 20 period SMA again rejected the price back to the downside, and we found support on the 50 SMA. So the, the, the S&P 500 is now today had this, um, this candle, this green candle. Uh, so it's a small of recovery, but however, it's still a recovery. So the S&P is not so bad as it seemed here by the MRI top on the weekly just three weeks ago, uh, almost three weeks ago. So guys, that's what I have for you guys today. Uh, of course, it's not a lot, but regarding the uh, events that we saw yesterday, there is not much to say anyway. There's a lot that we have to do. Um, just waiting and see what, what will happen and the slow recovery, of course, that will happen. But for today, that's it. I don't see any more uh, relevant information that I can pass on to you unless, uh, again, let me just stop screen share and go back to my normal screen. Um, the only thing I can say also after yesterday's stream where I, I appealed to everyone to remain calm and hodl and because I'm, I'm already used to a lot of this stuff, uh, you know, flash crashes, I've seen a, a lot of them. So I will reinforce today the same appeal that I, I made you guys yesterday. Remain calm, watch the developments, don't start to sell like crazy your coins. Don't do it because uh, we don't know what's going to happen. No one can predict the future. We can only uh, speculate on probabilities. That's what we do with technical analysis. But however, what happened yesterday was a very, very, very low probability. I would say that was even lower than half a percent probability of that flash crash going to 30k. However, it, it went to 30k, so there's always even the smallest probabilities has a chance to happen. Uh, but I believe that we can recover from here. I've seen a lot of recovers in the past, so guys, just uh, hodl your coins, don't make any stupid moves, and wait for the signals at least to what the bigger probabilities will tell us that can happen uh, from from today on, of course. So as usual, um, I'm just um, um, going to leave you guys with the advice of my uh, friend. And 
if you enjoy the content don't forget to gently touch the like button subscribe to the channel if you are new and uh, share it with your friends also and don't forget that i will see you guys again tomorrow take care all right let's roll hey let's be careful out there